Today I'm going to talk about the laser wavelengths we typically use to treat tattoos and how they compare. So there are four main wavelengths that we uh, generally use these days. 532 is the frequency doubled NDAG laser and it's a green uh, beam. The ruby laser gives us a 694 which is a, a, a deep red colour. The alexandrite will give us 755 nanometers which is just beginning to encroach into the near infrared part of the spectrum so is invisible to most people. And then the NDAG, uh, that what we call the fundamental wavelength, is at uh, 1064 nanometers. And you can see that as the wavelengths increase uh, in length, the penetration into the skin also increases. So, how do these different wavelengths compare? Well, first of all, the 532 line is quite strongly absorbed by melanin. So that means there's going to be more energy, laser energy absorbed in the basal layer of the, of the epidermis, which means there's going to be more heating at that level. Now that will lead to more blistering in many cases. Um, but the other problem with 532 is that it, it doesn't penetrate as deep into the skin as the longer wavelengths. This is just a, a, a function of the, of the scattering in the dermis. However, it is strongly absorbed by red ink as long as the ink's not too deep. Um, but the backscattering of this wavelength is about 30%. So that means that um, up to 30% of the light that you throw into the skin here with this wavelength will re-emerge from the, uh, the skin back into the um, local environment. So you, if you, you fire in one joule per square centimeter, then only about uh, 0.7 joules per square centimeter will actually reach the, uh, the target ink. With the ruby and alexandrite wavelengths, um, they have a, a sort of a middle penetration depth compared to the 532 and the 1064. Um, but again, you can get significant absorption by melanin at these wavelengths. So you will get uh, blistering in darker skin types, unfortunately. These, these wavelengths, uh, they have the highest backscattering levels up to 60%, which is um, a significant loss of energy. So it means that when you, you fire in your, your light at these uh, tattoos, a big chunk of the energy is just being backscattered straight back out of the skin, unfortunately. Then the 1064, which is the NDAG fundamental line, this uh, gives us the deepest penetration into the skin. Uh, this gets very little absorption by melanin, so you don't tend to damage the uh, melanocytes or the melanin granules. And therefore we get the, the lowest risk of um, blistering with this wavelength. It's very well absorbed by black and dark blue ink, so it's good for those sorts of colours. Um, but it still also has a, a pretty high level of backscattering, potentially up to about 55% um, or, or more. So again, like the ruby and alexandrite wavelengths, we do lose a lot of energy just purely through backscattering coming back out of the skin. So that, that's how these uh, different wavelengths compare. It makes it a little bit trickier when we're trying to treat different colours at different depths. Um, I've got another video which you can have a look at um, our YouTube site or through the, the blog here, um, which describes the, um, the absorption of the various different, um, these different wavelengths with different coloured inks and how the coloured inks may not be the colour that they first appear. Thanks for listening and uh, I hope you enjoyed this.